So, I made this 3D printed LED lamp based on a $6 LED COB and other components of AliExpress. The lamp works. Here's how to assemble it. I got this a standard 100 watt LED heatsink that came with a 60 degree lens and 4 countersunk M4 screws. I also got this uh, 100 watt natural light LED COB which has color temperature around 4500K. It came with 4 M3 screws and I got my shell made out of black PLA that uh, took around 10 hours to print. Mistakes were made when I over-optimized filament usage and made a floor of the heatsink too low. I added extra room at the top by printing an extra slice of the design and bonded it to the shell with epoxy. I will use four 40 millimeter M8 bolts and M8 nuts and my articulated mount to attach the slide to a stand. Before assembling the shell, I want to test the electrical setup. 110 volts AC comes into these three slot Vega connectors going to a 40 watt 36 volt max LED driver and 12 volt 1 amp DC power supply for the fan. On the converted side, the power goes to a 5x7 prototype PCB with uh, three connectors for each unit supply, switch, and demand. I added two 6 amp 125 volt max AC switches for controlling the fan and LED COB on DC side. Thermal grease has already been applied to the LED COB. First, I put the wire for the light source through the shell. Then I insert heat sink and a fan. I back off heat sink as needed to align mounting holes for the light. Then I fasten the light to the heat sink. I add the reflector and the lens. This is a 44 mm 60 degree lens. Then I add Bowen's mount. I push back the heatsink inside of the shell to align the holes for Bowen's mount and the heatsink. I add the lens holder and push the M4 screws through the lens holder. Bowen's mount and the heatsink inside of the shell. I fasten the screws but I don't tighten them yet. I move the cables to the back of the shell. I take the power supplies and insert them into the holders that already have M3 nuts inserted into the nut traps. Then I attach the holders to the shell with 30mm M3 cup screw bolts with washers for the 12 volt unit and 35 to 40mm cap screw bolts for LED driver. Now I connect 12V power supply and LED driver to AC using Vega connectors. Then I fasten articulated mount to the bottom of the case with the 2M5 16mm bolts and 2M5 nuts. I connect everything to the prototyping board and insert it into the shell. I test the connectivity again. Then I disconnect the switches as I am to attach them to the cover along with the handle. I use the version of the handle when M3 bolts are screwed directly into the plastic. Then I tighten everything including bounds mount and articulated mount to the shell. I insert the M8 nuts at the end of the bolts from the bottom of the pylons. I remove the bolts and attach them from the top through the cover, adding washers in between. Then I attach the light to a tripod. I turn on the fan. 
the fan is on. I turn on the light. The light is on. As a final touch, I label the switches. In a related video, I'm going over open SCAD code for this shell. Use I can actually override screw and insert variables uh, to specify my own 